I'm Jamie Holmes. A lot to get to this morning, a very busy morning. So let's show you a look here at what's going on. Two things, two big <laughs> things on the right side of your screen there. That, of course, a Falcon 9 rocket that is set to lift off from the Kennedy Space Center. That's set to happen in about uh, a minute and 15 seconds. On the other side of the screen, the left side, Joint Base Andrews there. President Trump scheduled to leave at any moment. So that's a live look there for you as he gives uh, or preps to give his final remarks there. Green light. So if we go today, that would mean there's uh, six launches seconds. left. Let's listen in to Mission Control. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. Welcome back. Time now, 8.30. That's a live look there for you at Joint Base Andrews. That is Marine One that is now touched down there on the uh, runway. President Trump, his wife Melania Trump on board. They just left the White House for the last time. Uh, gave a few statements there very briefly to reporters. According to ABC News, he said again, it was the honor of his lifetime to serve as President of the United States. So uh, as you can see there, the helicopter taxiing over. Air Force One there in the background. And there is a podium and a stand there set up for him to give a few remarks there before he steps on board Air Force One. We have some cell phone video of the uh, of some some of the scenario that unfolded outside and includes some gunshots. It's the first time we're seeing and hearing it. Let's take a look at that now. Look at that! They're shooting back and forth. That is crazy. Look at this. Let's go. Oh. That's, uh, that's the video that we have at this point. It seemed to indicate there may have been some kind of shootout. Again, uh, this oh. is the reports that we're hearing at this point. We understand there have been at least 40 people taken to the hospital, and uh, that's some of the scene that uh, you never obviously want to be a part of, and no. you can only uh, imagine, and you don't want to. Perhaps you heard, next October, Tom Cruise will head to the ISS on a SpaceX rocket to film his next movie. He is a legend and far and away one of our most successful actors. SpaceX is an American-made company with a few good men like Elon Musk. Space is a risky business, but SpaceX has made all the right moves. It won't be a mission impossible, not when you have the collateral of Tom Cruise. Unless you've been living in oblivion or have gone through life with your eyes wide shut, you know Cruise and Musk both know the color of money. Personally, I look forward to next fall, where I'll have a cocktail in hand, watching the launch on the Space Coast. I just hope the weather holds, and there are no days of thunder, and it doesn't rain, man. Is that what you've been working on all morning? <laughs> I could sit it here all my... Hey, what, are you, what are you doing? I was you busy. Right? No. <laughs> He's like, that, that was it? Uh, I think job. my eyelashes are going to fall off. I'm losing it. <laughs> 544 and the University of Central Florida is holding a different kind of kids camp this summer. Yeah, the camp's only for autistic children, but it's also part of a bigger study to teach autistic children martial arts. Researchers want to know whether children who are uncomfortable being touched can overcome their disability with lots of touching. Bend your knees, arms out, go! 15-year-old Ryan Wasser is autistic. He doesn't like to be touched, but then his dad enrolled him in a judo summer camp and things changed. Is this new for you though? Like, you feel that? Yeah. I'm touching you now. Yeah. This is very touchy feeling. Yeah. And you're comfortable with that? Yeah. Would he have done that before? No, not with a stranger. Touching is something autistic children tend to struggle with. So researchers at UCF developed this summer camp as part of a study to see if mass amounts of touching can help autistic children overcome their resentment to physical contact. With judo, especially when they have the geese, I think, you know, it's different. It feels like they're invincible and they can touch the gi. It's, it's different than touching a person. So judo, very touchy, very feely martial art, particularly when it comes to that throw. Boom! The study is looking to develop a national program for helping address another problem with autistic children, their health. According to national statistics, autistic kids are twice as likely to be obese, and their rate of developing type 2 diabetes is higher as well. Researchers say it's because their fear of physical activity leads to a sedentary lifestyle. And this is also getting them to do something else they struggle with, socializing. They were so nervous. They couldn't talk together. But look at them now. They are talking together. For Ryan, this really is a whole new feeling. Are you going to keep going and get maybe a black belt here? Yeah. <laughs> if you you want to be you want to be a sensei? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Maybe maybe someday. Oh. He's got the chops. All right, the kids are given a physical at the beginning and the end of the camp to see how their numbers have changed. The physical <laughs> checks for improvement in their cardio, their endurance, their balance, and their reaction times. I don't want to cry <laughs> because it's such a great story. I want to laugh because he's slammed you to the ground. Yes, I don't know what something to do. you wanted to do every day. <laughs>
Uh, so here's the catch. <laughs> What's interesting to me about this, too, is uh, they thought maybe it was going to be the martial art and the touching, but it turned out mm -hmm. to be perhaps the gi that they wear. It's very thick right. fabric. It's good for the throws. Autistic children tend to use a comfort blanket. It's very heavy. It gives them that kind of restriction and comforts them. They think the gi did that. So as soon as the kids put on the gi that's heavy, they're like, boom, I'm ready to go. I feel like a superhero. And we were talking about the benefits beyond that class. Yeah, we'll stay they're all with sleeping them. really well right. at night. Another issue that autistic children face, they have restless nights. A couple hours being tossed around on a mat, I guarantee you're going to have a good night's sleep. What a great story. Be careful if you head out there again. <laughs> yeah. yes. Police say they stopped a joyrider in a quiet Port St. Lucie neighborhood, but the surprise was who was behind the wheel. This is video of a car with what looks like no driver moving in circles. Inside the car, though, is a black Labrador retriever. The owner of the car says he left the car running when he stepped out for a moment and the car accidentally went in reverse with the dog inside. Neighbors say it's a sight they won't soon forget. And then I saw the dog get out of the car and it was a big black lab or something. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is turning weird. No one was hurt. The car did end up hitting a man's mailbox. The owner of the car says he will pay to replace it. Nobody was hurt. So Hold on while I put this in bark. Zombie trees. They are trees that look alive but are slowly dying on the inside. Kind of like us. For funding in a contest created by the founder of AOL. I got to tour one of the competitors, a virtual reality company out of Full Sail University that can turn your environment into virtual reality instantly. Where are you right now, Brandon? I'm actually in Kansas City, Missouri. Okay, you look like you're standing three feet away from me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels that way too. This is Roomy, the world created by Doghead Solutions. It's all done instantly, allowing people all over the world to step into any kind of classroom or board meeting and interact with all the other virtual people. VR really gives us the, the power to create a lot of these you know, widgets, the things that we have on the board over here. So there's a lot of potential that we actually have inside of this space, inside of this virtual world that we don't have access to you know, in our normal 3D environment that we live in. So here I am in the virtual world. I could be anywhere in the country right now. In fact, I could be in Japan. I step into this virtual classroom or maybe it's a board meeting. And let's say I want to learn more about the heart. Well, there you go. There it is. And I can learn everything I want. I can interact with virtual teachers if I have a question. Anything I want, and none of it's real. Doghead Simulations at Full Sail University is among a handful of companies competing for a $100,000 prize in the Rise of the Rest contest. That's the nationwide effort by AOL founder Steve Case to invest seed money into innovative companies outside traditional tech hotspots like Silicon Valley. For Orlando, that's important. The city has long looked to expand beyond tourism, and instead of luring in a major player like Amazon or Google, they want to organically grow that kind of company here, even if what that company does isn't even real. It's great to just be recognized and just kind of um, be known by the community. So 152 companies in Orlando applied for Rise of the Rest. Eight companies are still in the running. On Monday, the companies will live pitch their tech or innovation when the Rise of the Rest Roadshow comes to town. That was so incredibly entertaining that you interviewed someone miles away, but we were talking about this. It felt like he was right, yeah, like right next to each other. And the funny part is they built an avatar for me, and I look at it, and I'm like, why did you put so much gray hair in it? <laughs> Give him a belly rub there. Discovery Cove has found a new twist on an old exhibit, and this one is designed to put you in the front seat with a shark. One of the things that we like for our animals is to be able to train husbandry behaviors. Wow, what this that sounds familiar. For years, guests swimming in the Grand Reef have been able to look through the glass at the shark. Some of these sharks have been here since the park opened in the year 2000. Now, for the first time, they're opening their shark tank for tourists, three at a time, who can get up close and personal with reef or nurse sharks. Even children over the age of 10 are welcome, and the staff says it's perfectly safe. The sharks have been used to people being around them. These are all reef species of sharks, all fairly docile sharks. There's no cage here. This is a free swim for five, ten minutes. You get in the water and you experience what it's like to swim with sharks. For Discovery Cove, the hope is this starts to change perceptions about how SeaWorld cares for animals. Many of these sharks are here because they used to live in people's fish tanks and SeaWorld brought them in to care for them when the sharks got too big. And they hope more people slowly realize when it comes to statistics, there is a far more dangerous predator in this water. Over 100 million sharks are killed a year. Without sharks, we would not have healthy oceans. Not all sharks are the scary creatures that people think they are. In Orlando, Jamie Holmes, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.
30% of employed investors say it's very or somewhat likely they will push back their retirement age. Hopefully that'll happen for us so we can be together longer. <laughs> yeah.